they're so crispy that when they drop, you can hear them. Hello and welcome to The View's Kitchen. Today we're gonna to be making plant-based milanesa. We're gonna make it nice, thin, and crispy, and full of flavor, friends. Now let's go over those ingredients. I cut my potatoes and I have them soaking in water. You're gonna add a little bit of vinegar, move it around, and let this set three to five minutes. Onion powder, garlic powder, Korean veggie bouillon, and black pepper, and a little bit of water in case we need it. These are my two favorite Korean dashi das. This one is a vegetable, this is a mushroom one. This one has MSG, and this one right here does not. So it's gonna be up to you how you wanna make it comfortable for your home. Now friends, if you don't have any of these, make sure to use the bouillon that you have on hand. We need all-purpose flour to dip our milanesa in. Optional, but highly recommended for your side salad with your milanesa. I have some carrots, tomato, cucumber, and lettuce. And don't forget your lime, friends. I'm gonna add our lentils to my Ninja Chopper. If you guys have a different kind of blender, go for it, okay? I'm making it comfortable for my home. I feel like I need a drum that goes bump, bump every time I say that. Some of you love it, some of you are fed up. And guess what? That's what it's about, being a mom and annoying everybody, I guess. And she's making it comfortable for her home. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna pulse a few times until it's nice and smooth, and then we're gonna pour it into our bowl. They smell like Beanie Babies. Mm -hmm. Add your ground oats. And I had to cover it because Cloud does not want to see that. Amigos, if you're as immature as Cloud, I want you to stay focused. We gotta finish this. Add your garlic powder, onion powder, layer it on, friends, your bouillon. You guys know I don't leave any bouillon behind. That's right. <laughs> black pepper. Now it's time to use your beautiful hands. When it's starting to look like an oatmeal cookie, you know that you're on the right track. Just mold it in. If for some reason it's too wet, you wanna add a little bit more of your oatmeal blend, okay? I've strained our potatoes, and now I'm just gonna let them uh, dry a little bit here on this baking sheet. Separate them a bit. And we're just gonna set these to the side. Sprinkle some salt to your all-purpose flour. Dip your hands in a little bit of oil and lather your hands. You wanna get about half a cup, make a little ball, or as big as you want your milanesa to be, okay? Pack it in. And then you wanna start pressing it. Pressing it with the palms gives you a thinner look and a more even milanesa as well, friends. You see any cracks, just pinch them together. And the more you leave the rustic edges, the more it gives that milanesa feel, right? Yeah, it does. If you see this is round and we got it to where we want it, but now you want it to look like a juicy steak. So that's when you want to take some of your ends off so that we can give it that, that look of a steak. We're gonna continue by dipping it into our flour. Press, press, press. Flip it over, press, press, press. Dust it off. If you see any cracks uh, in between, you can press, press, press because plant-based protein is very forgiving. Amigos, you have been suggesting that I use a different type of oil. Today we're gonna be frying with rice bran oil. I'll make sure to put that in the description for us. I have my pan on a medium heat, but my oil is at about 360 and 370, okay? We will be double frying. Now, let's get started. <laughs> After
after about five minutes, you're going to take your potatoes and I'm just going to place them into my little strainer. My little deep fryer, but it's a strainer too. <laughs> our fries are hot enough that they're going to continue to cook and I'm going to get started on our next batch. Before you start your next batch, make sure that your temperature is in between 360, 370 because once we add the potatoes, it decreases in temperature and then we have a little bit of problems. And after four to five minutes, we have some crispy fries. Make sure to salt your fries as soon as they come out. Make sure your oil is nice and hot. And you want to be careful because we're not using such a huge thick binder because we want this to be light and crispy. So you don't want to move these around way too much. You want your oil nice and hot. We want to fry it up for about three and a half minutes and then we're going to flip it. You want to be careful when you flip it. You might need two spatulas or two utensils that you're comfortable with so that you can get a good flip and you don't get it to crack. Okay? Careful, Cloud, it's gonna splash. Woo! I know you want the French fry, but you came for Milanesa. I wanna break it up so that you can see how delicious and crispy it's gonna be. The outer layer is nice and crispy, and the inside is nice and soft, friends. Make sure you look it in the description because I'm going to give you some tips for those that can handle a little bit more calories. I'm going to add some lime to everything. Even to my face, you guys missed it. It splashed. <laughs> yep, we're going to do it up. Yes. Say ah! As always, Views Club and Bell Notification Squad, Cloud and I absolutely adore you. We're always wishing you the best. And I want to share something with you guys. Y'all ask me how I'm doing it, that I'm staying happy and joyful through all the changes in my life. One of the things that helps me is to be grateful. Once you reach a point in your life when you're grateful for every ounce of everything that you get, you reach a point where you're just happy and jolly all the time. And on that one, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios! That's pretty amazing. Mm. It's great. I ate an entire milanesa while we were recording. You did. And all you kept hearing were my mooing sounds. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> These are those um, plates that you order at a Mexican restaurant where after they serve you the plate, nobody hears from you after a while. That's right. <laughs> you guys know I eat everything. I really like how you crisp the edges of the Milanesa. It gave it, um, ooh. Who wanted the piece? Say, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing goes to waste. Sorry, habits of the job. <laughs> What were you saying, Mika? That the crispy edges really gave it that milanesa feel and the flavor. Yeah, you can taste the lentejas is a subtle flavor, but if you balance your oatmeal and your milanesa and your lentils, I already call it milanesa, if you balance them well, it's gonna combine wonderfully. You won't miss a thing. And we like the bigger patty, but the smaller patties hold better. Mm-hmm. They really do. I do have something to say. Let me finish chewing. Okay. If I can. I'm going to stop stuffing my face. <laughs> <laughs> let me finish chewing, but let me just take one more bite of the lettuce. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I really like the rice bran oil for frying the potatoes. When you fry the potatoes and you serve them, like right after you salt them, they are crispier than your fast food place. Now for the milanesa, I really did like the way that it fried it up, but the milanesa absorbed most of the oil that you guys saw on that pan. So I think if you're gonna fry a milanesa, 
maybe not use it for like beans and those kind of things but for the potatoes it was excellent friends i hope that you guys enjoy this dish and on that one pues ya les dije that i'll see you guys tomorrow voy a comer why is your hair going to your cheek and your mouth it wants some of that milanesa there it is girl it's because <laughs> i did that papaya treatment Ooh. everything evolves around food that's right like if like if i didn't love ketchup enough just for you mm. I gotta go, the babies are staring at me. <laughs> Bye guys, we love you. Take care of one another and we'll see you guys yeah. tomorrow. Bye, tengo que servir. <laughs>leche <laughs> okay, got it. <clears throat> Friends, I do want to share that once you blend them, they do smell beanie. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Don't scare the kids. Though. Kids don't get scared. I don't think I can show this on camera. This? I don't think you should either. <laughs> Hurry up and blend, please. <laughs> Para los niños están muy bien los babies que comen lentejitas. Pues si venden, they sell those, um, those emoji things that have the you know what. So. You know, that reminds me of Justine, girl. Because she her friends would always give her that little poo poo emoji. She's so adorable. I love her. One of my favorite humans. You know what this reminds me of? Making raw food. Are you done laughing? Ya terminaste. Yes. Controlate. Okay. <laughs> I'm still trying to hold it in. Componte, as soon as you're done, we, are, we can continue with the recipe when you're done laughing. Okay, we're ready. We're ready. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'll help you get out soon.